朋友是一个坚韧。Fear is a game. Also, I feel it's important to state that fear is an acronym, which stands for First Encounter Assault Recon. Basically, ten-year-old me's concept of what was cool. Fear was developed by Monolith Productions and came out in 2005. I know this because the aspect ratio and overall issues to just start the game felt very 2005. What happened? But after some bad FPS and an Indian man's YouTube tutorial. Hello guys. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about Java. I was finally able to press that dirty little tease of a play button. You start the game with the most invigorating gameplay, reading. Then the intro cinematic starts with smaller reading. Is that a thing? Smaller reading? Ah, eh, fuck it. It's my YouTube. There's an eye looking at some crispy fire. We get a nice slow pan with someone whispering. You're so bad at your job. See the grudge. Who's so scared? Then the door opens up by itself, which sets our boy wailing. <laughs> These guys hear said wail and decide to have an opinion about it, and a massive killing spree ensues, ending with our boy munching on this body. Mm mm mm. Confused, you stupid little bitch. <laughs> Don't worry, I was too. Thank God this game uses the greatest storytelling format of all time. Here's a spark notes. Pax and Fettel this guy. is a sidekick. He controls clone soldiers with sidekick magic. You know, as you do. Pax in turn magic psycho is now on a shooting spree with his army of clones. So you, the point man, reflexes are totally off the charts. Are sent to track him down. By the way, Paxton has a tracker in his head. Also, everybody else in this room is not important. Are you crazy? You start with Pax and Fettel leaning over and asking you. What's the first thing? Then you hear a woman scream, going, No, oh my god, where are you taking him? No, this is clearly a pregnancy, my baby, no. Then this half life scientist said some kind words of affirmation to you. You will be a god among men. You hear that, betas? I'm a god! Then you get dropped off to find Paxton like it's your first day at school. Have a good day at school. You break some boards, do some community service. Yeah, he did. Breathe on this door. <laughs> Get to the part where Jankowski goes. Hey, bro! You turn this corner and see some spooky things. You find a dead body. Go to the roof and get bonked on the head. <laughs> what? Then Paxton leans down and gives you the bad guy speech. Wanna go, then you go to hill and go down. Bastard, beat! Then you just pass out. Just like that. No rhyme or reason. You just pass out. When you finally wake up, of course Paxton is gone. Delta sends some choppers. Jin thinks you're cute. Well, he's pretty cute. Something about him just feels off. It's something about his eyes. Wait, my eyes? Dude, I'm Asian! Hey, back already? Then we get another cryptic flashback or dream or premonition or whatever the fuck this is. But the guy goes, I've tried to forget Lamau. Then you're in a chopper with these Delta boys and your mission? Be American as f Fuck. You fly to the water treatment plant because the pre-mission debrief title card said so. Once you and the boys drop out of the chapa, the gate is locked, so the Delta boys tell you to go unlock it. On your way to the controls, you see a dead guy to set the mood. Nice. Then unlocking the gate, only to hear the Delta guys go. Go to other place. Why are you shouting? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! you. Bloody fuck you! Bloody. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Now that you're alone, you head to link up with Jankowski's crew. On your way, you meet some soulful, wacky friends who are- Oh, wait, I'm reading Undertale's description. After inflicting death and seeing death, you become death incarnate. Then the game tries so hard to scare me. <laughs> okay, I'm not scared. Then you finally run into Jankowski, but it's his ghost, ashes, premonition i i literally don't know what the fuck is going on moving on a massive explosion ignites and you see this little grudge looking bitch thing which is fun then you get pushed out the window because of physics in motion you wake up to Jin, who is like oh my god he's all right and you're like bitch what the fuck of course i'm all right i'm a god and then your boss is like get back in there then that's accurate by the way Going back in there, you get wind that these guys are also attacking Armacam headquarters. So Delta is moving reinforcements over there. Who's Armacam? Basically IRL Lockheed Martin. Continue your search for Fettel. This little red dress wearing bitch keeps terrorizing me. You find an exposition computer about how Armacam got a report about major water contamination. Hmm. You kill some more guys. Watch this bitch use her heelys. 
Then you drop down into the creepiest vision where this hospital is filled with blood and a skeleton jumps out to greet you. Still no clue what's going on. Maybe they spill acid in the water. Still in the water treatment plant, you slap some ass, blow this guy's head off, and have a thick boy bust through them doors. <laughs> nice. Crawl through a vent and get scared. Go down a ladder and have your innocence stolen from you. Twice. <gasps> and if that wasn't enough for you, this entire tunnel turns into hell for a few fun seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything will be okay, just keep moving on. Eventually you come across this guy and he goes, Um, if Fettel finds her origin. What are we talking about? And that's as much plot as we're going to get. Over the radio, Delta is having issues at Armacam and needs some help. Our boss thinks Fettel is heading to Armacam, and so we're gonna go there too. Uh, that's uh, today's lesson, and uh, yeah, subscribe. Don't be a dick. <clears throat> that's good. You know, this isn't that bad. Beautiful scenery, flying over the city. It ain't that bad. You know, I, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, fuck! Welcome to Armakeen, a place of friends, family, and a beautiful military industrial complex. <clears throat> After clearing out all the replicants, you find your way into the building to search for the missing Delta reconnaissance team. Let's be real though, Delta's kinda trash. <laughs> You then see this thick boy run on by, casually take a stroll through this hallway, what the fuck? then kill a new enemy type. Not gonna lie, those guys are dope. A thick boy fell through the ceiling. The boss wants to get into Armacam's network, but the thick boy, Norton Mapes, says if we disable the security system, he'll patch us in. Upon finding Mapes' desk, a voicemail reveals that he's a bit of a r slash nice guy. So we drop a grenade and move on. You turn off the security system, and then you go to hell and kill a demon. In that order too, believe it or not. You then finally locate the missing Delta team. And let's just say, my God. Continuing your search for Fettel, that phrase will be used a lot. You come across a hostage named Alden Bishop, most American psycho son of a bitch I've ever seen. Bishop has a bomb strapped to him and we don't know how to defuse them. So we head over to the elevator to fight some replicants. Then Delta conveniently shows up right after the fight. Hey, good to see you again. <laughs> One wall breach later, we link up with the hostage. Conveniently, the alarm goes off and shuts down the elevators, forcing the point man to split up from Delta team. Hmm. When turning off the alarm, you see Thick Boy's brand of potato chips, but there's no reason to be suspicious. Not like he's actively sabotaging. Ah! With the elevators working again, you head to the roof to link up with Delta team, but the elevator gets jammed because, you know, fuck you. Uh. Heading into the elevator shaft, you take a look at the problem. Oh my god. What the fuck? Once finding and taking the stairs, you get to the rooftop, but Delta leaves you because they're under fire. Guess those miniguns don't work. Sma. Turns out the guys shooting at Delta are Arma Camp Security. They have some dirty little secrets they want to protect too. Jankowski makes an appearance. We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended. You see Thick Boy being a little bitch like a Reddit mod. He then tells you to override the security lockdown because plot. Once you override the lockdown, Thick Boy flips you off. Then later when you run into Thick Boy again, he turns on the security turrets and tries to kill you. <laughs> this guy's seriously my favorite character. Fettel then shows up and talks shit. You free a woman named Alice Wade, the daughter of Harlem Wade, aka the guy in charge and the guy that you're just learning about now. You escort her to the roof for evac, but that doesn't last too long. Climbing some stairs, you link back up with Alice at the roof. She's like, oh my god, what happened? Once the chopper shows up, it goes... Alice runs away, so you chase after her, but then she just drives away, just like that. So you climb some stairs, link up with Delta, hop in another chopper, and go after Alice. In the chopper, you get a bunch of exposition about Alice going after her dad, Harlan, who's in some secret research place. You know, shit you don't care about. Then your chopper gets hit with a missile and you crash land. Then you wake up in a very accurate LA luxury apartment complex. 
Fighting through some enemy patrols, you run into Alice, who is now captured by Fettel. Should have stuck with me, bitch. Things get weird. You see Alice's dead body, but that actually was a vision. Then you kill some nightmare demons. What the fuck is happening, game? Eventually, you make it to this warehouse and take the elevator down to the secret base, where Harlan shoots Thick Boy. Rest in peace. With a hole in his stomach, he casually tells you how to get in the vault by saying, get in the vault. Once entering into the vault, you see a big old ball of science, and without skipping a beat, you see Paxton eating Alice. Nice. Then you go to hell, and this is where the game just tells you everything. Ah, fuck. <clears throat> Let me just get over here. Okay. Paxton Fiddle is your brother, and this girl's name is Alma, and she's your mother. Bye bye. And with this newfound knowledge, you shoot Paxton in the head. For real this time, he's actually dead. So is Alice. She died too. You didn't save her. With Paxton out of the picture, the replicant forces are no longer a problem. Then you find this conveniently placed laptop with a convenient recording of Harlan giving exposition on Alma. Then Harlan lets Alma out. She kills him. Then she walks out scot-free. <laughs> Following after Alma's footsteps, you see that her nightmares are now bleeding into reality. As you escape, you start a reactor meltdown and get your ass on that elevator to the surface. On the surface, you kill more of Alma's nightmares. <laughs> Then you get your last vision of Alma trying to tell you that she knows you are her son. She just wants her baby back. Oh, message received, game. Also, uh, Harlem is her dad. Once you get outside, the reactor blows up and engulfs you. But you don't die because you're a god. And uh, that's the game. Plot was messy, gameplay was fun. Tell your favorite politician about it. What was that sound? Oh, and I still have no clue what happened to Jankowski. Are you crazy? <laughs>